About a year ago, I made my 1000 subscriber special, including all of my colonies and making some new setups. Towards the end of that video, I moved one of my chromatogasters into what is now known as the- Alright guys, hold on one minute here. I just had the biggest realization, I literally thought this setup was called the cliffside, when actually that was the name for my other setup. So this entire time, I had never officially named this setup, and I was supposed to make a poll for it, but I never did. I just can't believe- no. Alright, let's just get back into the video. I moved one of my chromatogasters into what is now known as the cliffside cubes and tube setup, and another colony into what I guess we'll call aerodrubble. But in the past summer, I've caught some more chromatogaster queens, so let's go ahead and properly introduce them in this video. We'll start off with my newer colonies first, then work our way up. If you saw my hunting queen ants video, then you already know how many queens I had caught in that night. If you haven't, I highly recommend it as I show you how I look for queen ants and how I found them. Plus, it's 20 minutes of ender ants goodness. So what the species for the queens could be is Chromatogaster Liviuscula, as they look really similar to my first captured Chromatogaster queen. Here is an elate with eggs. As you saw in the bottom left, this was filmed in late August, so as of now in late October to early November, she now has workers, or nanitics, which is the first generation of workers. I've been feeding them honey and also some fruit flies, making them my first and only chromatogaster queen caught this year to get past the egg stage. My two other queens that have survived haven't gotten past that yet. Only one of the elates has pupa and also larva. But the other deolate doesn't have any eggs, so I thought that was pretty interesting. A new food item I've tested with these colonies is fish food, which they always take in. I usually get a sprinkle of tiny pellets, and sometimes one or two of the larger ones. If you happen to not have any food to feed your colonies, definitely try to give them fish food. But remember, not all species will take it, so it's only a matter of experimenting and multiple attempts. This colony has been more active in their outworld, and I often see a lot of them walking around the sticks, rocks, and also huddling at the feeder. I also gave them some fruit flies recently, but I'm saving that for a separate video that you will see in the future.
At around 50 workers, this is my second most populated colony of Chromatogaster vermiculata. Let's put them away and take a look at my largest Chromatogaster colony. I also gave them some fish food. Now, I wasn't expecting them to eat it as they never find this kind of food in the wild, but they did take it in and they put it inside their test tubes specifically for hoarding it. Very cool to see them just picking it up and dropping it off here. Definitely one of my most favorite colonies. More of the workers have been starting to climb up the walls, and this might be because they now have 88 plus workers, or because they're trying to find some more food. These two test tubes are continuously changed out and the colony alternates between them when one of them runs out of water. The entrances of these test tubes are always filled with cotton or any kind of substrate, something I've noticed chromatogaster colonies like doing. Here's one of these colonies that covered up their entrance, and they were previously in the moss setup, but had to move out because the workers started dying off. But now, they're doing much better. Just like the others, they too were fed fish food, but it seems like they're not too interested right now. So that pretty much wraps up all of my Chromatogaster colonies of 2019. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful or enjoyable. I felt like this video was a little bit boring because not that much has happened inside of their setups. But I haven't done an update on these colonies in a very long time, so it was about time I finally updated you guys on how they were doing. Let me know if you have any tips about your Chromatogaster colonies, or if you want any tips from me on keeping Chromatogaster. And that's all I gotta say for now, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you are celebrating Thanksgiving or any other holiday that's upcoming. My name is Enderance, another fellow ant YouTuber. Follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you later.